Yes, guys, so an important update for engineers. Once again, there is a recruitment coming up from Bharat Electronics Laboratory Bell for two of its uh, units. And what is that uh, recruitment? Let me tell you in detail. It's a contractual post, but there are different categories in which freshers can also apply. And in some of the categories, we need some experience. Okay, so if you go to the Bell Careers, okay, the Bell India dot in and you go to the career space, you'll be seeing recently many notifications coming up. So one has been floated yesterday and one has been floated today. That is 23rd August. I'm going to talk about both. Both of them one is for the agra location and one is for the uh, for the unit at the gaziabad location okay so you know you can click here to be the detailed adver advertisement i have opened it already for you separately so let's talk about this one which is uh, floated on yesterday that is 22nd of august and there are the post here there are the posts here. Let's come to the engineering post. There are some HR and finance based posts. Yes. Look into this. The trainee engineer. Okay. The trainee engineer where there is no experience required. I mentioned it is going to be contractual, but how long is the contract? Okay. So this is a trainee engineer. One post and 30 posts for electronics, 17 for computer science. Okay. So uh, this particular has no experience required. The age limit is also mentioned 28 years. And then there is the project engineer. Okay, 8 for computer science, 29 again for electronics and mechanical also has very few but yeah, let me mention it, it is 3 for mechanical as well. But this particular project engineer requires a minimum of a minimum of two years of relevant experience in the in the domain and the age limit for this upper age limit for this is 32 years Okay, so let's move ahead towards some of the other important updates. Yes. Okay for the trainee engineer Okay, for the trainee engineer, now you can clearly see trainee engineer will be engaged initially for a period of two years, which may be extended, extended up to a maximum period of three years. So that is what is the contractual period that is mentioned. And the remuneration is first, second and third year, it is 30, 35,000 and 40,000 respectively. In addition to it, you have area allowance at the 10%, 10% of whatever is your per month uh, amount. You get an extra 10% allowance. But this is for those contracts who will be posted to various cities and customer locations. Okay. Also 12,000 per year you get for your insurance, premium, attire, stitching, etc. This is all additional. Now, if we talk about the project engineer here sorry yeah project engineer ki baat kare, so this is the renumeration mentioned and for project engineer it's for a period of three years which can be extended up to a period of four years okay up to a period of four years and the renumeration is 40 45 50 and 55 for the first second third fourth year and same additional benefits are provided to the project engineer as well upper age limit as already we discussed earlier now there are some important uh, things that you must be noting yeah this is what whether you are applying uh, for trainee or project engineer these are the disciplines you can apply so like there were vacancies for electronics so electronics anybody having plain electronics electronics and communication electronics telecommunication etc 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 this is mentioned here okay mechanical means straight mechanical engineering and similarly for computer science it can be computer science computer science and engineering and etc okay so you can note if you have any of the discipline you are fit and eligible to apply for either trainee or the project engineer can apply for either of them now what is again important is key those who are looking to apply for project engineer as i told you project engineer is going to require two years of work experience so what is the knowledge that is required what is the job requirement what is the area that you should be having it's it's clearly mentioned so you can even go through that also like electronics uh, definitely must be having the knowledge of analog circuit which is fundamental other than that rf circuits measurement testing and troubleshooting ability to use various test equipment like oscilloscopes multimeters this is pretty much expected you know if you are being as a select, selected as electronic engineer so there are several tools and several requirements mentioned okay and that is what that is why you know these this is the post for uh, those who have work experience because they work on this now uh, if you move ahead to the next similarly there are some tools required from computer science and mechanical students so this also you must uh, go through if you are applying for project engineer okay if you are going to apply for project engineer now let's move ahead to the next 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 very very important sir how the selection is going to occur okay so you know the candidates meeting the eligibility criteria which i have mentioned okay they can apply and selection will be through a written test okay followed by an interview of course so guys be ready there is going to be a written test and you know many of you you know must have prepared for gate or maybe pre parallelly preparing for exams like hal or hpcl or isro examination nilit examination so you're already touching preparation that's what guys prepare for our centralized exam gate and ese any other exam you will be automatically fit for you will be automatically fit 
for okay so then the selection procedure clearly says that there will be a separate written examination and the fees for training engineer 150 plus 18 percent gst and for the project engineer it is 400 plus 18 percent of the gst next important thing is your documents and all you can see next important thing is the important dates as i told you this notification was uploaded just yesterday 22nd of august okay and the last date of application is 7th of september okay by the end of the day the so 7th of september please note down so you have another ap approximately 15 days but if you are sure you are looking forward and you are curious to work for it this is the bell Ghaziabad unit definitely apply for it in the given time why to wait for the end hour now the very very important thing is I have said written test hoga. so what is the tentative date for written it is going to be in the last week of September in case if you find any other doubts okay you can directly mail at this particular ID any queries you have any more details you're looking for the B E L G Z B Bell Ghazi about it is okay B E L G Z B one at the rate job apply dot in you can send your mail there they'll be replying you within their working days okay now parallelly let's see let me also add on as I told you there is one more notification that came up today and that is 23rd of August 23rd of August and that is for the uh, recruitment of the Agra unit now what is this this is trainee engineer as well as project engineer but this particular recruitment for agra is both uh, both of the category are requiring work experience as you're able to see for trainee engineer also you need a work one year of work experience and for project engineer regular two years of work experience age limit remains to be same 28 years for trainee and 32 years for the project engineer now how many vacancies are there okay any b b tech bsc uh you know for four years they can apply electronics Electronics and communication, electronics and telecommunication, telecommunication, communication and computer science engineering. Total only eight number of posts. But uh, since this is again related to Bell, so I added on to this as well. For project engineer, there is just one vacancy that is for electrical, electronics, okay, uh, students. Okay. Now here, what are the important updates is. Yeah, there is a minimum qualification required for trainee engineer that you should have 55% and above. Okay, the aggregate, the final CGPA of your degree should be more than 55% and above. Same requirement is there for the project engineer as well. Okay, age limit already we discussed. Period of contract, trainee engineer same. Two periods, extendable up to three, three, two years, extendable up to three years. For project engineers, again the same. Three years, extendable up to the four years. So all this remains to be same. Okay, remuneration. Okay, so remuneration also remains to be same. 30, 35 and 40,000 for the trainee engineer okay and for the project engineer that also remains to be same as I mentioned in the previous uh, uh, PDF as well 40, 45, 50 and 55 respectively for first, second, third and fourth year okay uh, any other important updates also let me mention again guys now okay they have mentioned the skill set okay because here both the, the post trainee engineer and project engineer are requiring the work experience so these are the uh, you know skill sets mentioned okay uh, so you can uh, you should also be aware about this those who are applying for this particular thing okay now uh, fees remains to be same 150 plus 8 gst and 400 for gst respectively for trainee and project engineer and uh, yeah let's come back yeah that's it that's about this one as well all right guys so, okay so majorly uh, this has good number of vacancies and especially for freshers okay the one that is floated yesterday uh, for the Ghaziabad uh, unit okay so this one is important and especially if you are a fresher looking to apply you can apply although it may be a contractual post but still you'll get a hands-on work experience working in Bell so right now if you don't uh, see that if you have any PSUs in hand if you have any job in hand this can be really very good opportunity okay uh, for those looking for immediate job opportunities that's it from my side because again uh, freshers are involved and uh, especially uh, electronics uh, huge crowd was there so i thought i'll update you personally and that's it guys bye bye keep uh, you know be aware about these updates and if you're not we just came up uh, and flow these updates on the youtube as well and that is why guys uh, subscribe so that uh, all other job updates is also available for you because at the end you're working hard to get a secure job bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself